Hey everybody, it's New Hampshire Hobby Logger. And today is Sunday, it's the 15th of October, 2023. And it's time for a little quick update on what we're doing out in the shop. So we got this uh, little tumbler thing, or this uh, woodpecker thing that we built. We saw it on the uh, YouTube channel there, and I said, well, I can make one of them. <coughs> so uh, we'll put the plasma table, torch, and all that kind of stuff together there. And, drew out some patterns and cut them out, welded them up. So I'm getting ready to paint it. I've tried a couple of bundles on the thing there. And, but I want to, uh, uh, I did, to, I tweaked it a little bit there because it was catching on the rim. Um, so I wanted to try it out one more time before I throw some paint onto it. So in, in anticipation of that yellow, uh, uh, mesh coming in. I ordered a bunch of that from out in uh, Oregon. Now it's supposed to be coming in another, oh, probably a week or two. So, finally got some of that back in. It's been uh, hard to find, but there's an outfit out there that uh, Quadell Industries, I believe is the name, and they are uh, real good out there. They're going to fire up a batch and send it out. So, all right, so we're just going to try this out real quick. Give you a little idea how it's going to work, hopefully. There's one of our bundles of kindling that we've already already done. And it comes out real nice. That's what my customers like. So I've already had that in stock. So we're gonna pop this over here. And I got two two things to, well now we got the regular firewood bundle that we're going to bundle up. We're going to try that. And then I've got some uh, <coughs> kindling wood that comes off of the, the processor down there. And that's all this real fine hardwood. And that, uh, that really takes the ease out of starting a fire. So, or easy to start the fire. So anyhow, this is on a pivot. So you can stand it up a little bit. And let's do the kindling first. That's what I'm interested in. We do sell a fair amount of that. And get some of this other stuff out of the way. We'll just take nice big handfuls of that, like that. And we'll stick it right in the bucket. See if we're actually getting anything in there. Oh yeah, that's starting to look all right. We'll tweak it up just a bit here for you. So we're always trying to find something that makes it a little bit easier to go and get things done a little faster and a little cheaper. I don't know if it's cheaper, but you know. We're wood whores. That's all there is to it. You gotta, uh, you gotta keep the customers happy. And you gotta keep yourself happy. So if it's something you like to do, then uh, that's what we're going for. Alright, so once that's done, get this little riggy off of there. We'll expand out our mesh here. And that's supposed to open up around 26. Six inches diameter, I think, something like that. These cans are, uh, that can is like uh, just just around 14 inches, and that's all it'll do to get this thing around it. This wasn't bad when I was a kid. I didn't mind leaving these things over. Alright, and then you tip it right upside down like that. And there we go. Oops. I gotta see where we're hanging up there. 
but there's that. We can take these and stick them down in there. Actually, that comes out a pretty full little bundle, but I, and then we use wire ties. We'll string these right up like that. Give a little spin and then use our wire tie. And the next thing we're going to do is we'll try the uh, And we might throw a couple of pieces of kindling in with it so you can get things started when they go to light the off. Well, I think that's about all we're going to get in there. Piece of the kindling, so you get started. Get another little sleevey on it. So we cut all these little slats out on the plasma table. Then we weld them together, and then I've got some small diameter stuff. We bent that around so that it's uh, easier to start the the net over the top of it. And one of these days, I'm going to figure this out. There. Yeah. I'll get my sleeve out of there. So there's quite a bit of measuring that goes on. This isn't something you toss together. And there we go. So I'm looking at. That makes a pretty nice bundle. You got at least an over a cubic. Out of cubic foot wood in there, and we'll tie that together. And that's about how we do it. Let me get this off of here. We'll take a quick little walk around. So I don't think that's going to be too awful bad. And then you whip those uh, ties around there, seal them up, and off you go. So we got a, I think it's about an 18 inch plate on the bottom here. That's the main support. This can can get taken off. We got a bolt up in the top of here. We'll spin that around. We got a kind of a friction plate right there. Let me see, get around this side and get a little more light on it. So we got this friction plate right here. And uh, that bolt, I guess we could adjust it, but it's gonna be awful tight because I got a pin going through it. To, Pretty much keep it but it's it's solid uh, and inside the bucket we got that bolt comes up through there we can take this right off of the, the the base plate here so we got some two by two iron there the only thing I have to do I got to cut out a couple little plates and weld them over the top of this so that the water doesn't get down there in the winter time and it collect down there and freeze so anyhow I think this is a once we get set up and you get your wood uh, right handy um, so you can get right to it uh, I think this would be pretty fast that way you don't have to keep flipping buckets around and trying to figure out where everything is you can keep everything right in a, a, a good area I'm thinking of using one of those uh, pallet racks there and uh, having just a little station there with the, the wood on it and the ties and all the, all the hardware we need. So that's it, folks. That's uh, about what we're going to run for today. Hobby Logger, checking out. Bye-bye.